Hey, BC. It's um, Friday night, and um, wow. Wow. What a night it's been. What a night. I decided to just go ahead and come back and unwind in front of the camera because I'm not going to be able to sleep for a while. What an event. What an event. Carver opening. Oh man, I'll show that later. I had some stuff I wanted to show. Oh man, the um, the art space opening was amazing. It was amazing. It went, it went, just. But I've had this feeling, and again, a good feeling doesn't mean that everything's going to go smoothly and well. It just means that the energy is right, and the energy about this this undertaking is right. Tonight went fantastic. I mean, there was a lot of hustling in the last minute because the construction's not done to get it ready for tonight, but um, the um, it was standing room only the whole entire night. Just was jam-packed the entire place. I don't know how many hundreds of people came. The There's a sandwich shop run by my fourth cousin open next to the art space and it's kind of part of this development and she had us lying out on the street up the street for a while wow um my brother patrick came in for it and he came to the event and uh, he was able to see you know my brother you know he's the baby of the family so for him it's always about him and he could see it's like whoa this is something this is this is way beyond you. This is about you, the community trying to um, wake up and uh, reinvigorate. And the role that I and we through this art space can, the role that we can play, you know, there's a lot of potential. Very exciting night. My world premiere of my piece went phenomenally well I didn't know what to expect you know you know um, the response was amazing and then I played this from Sonospheres 2 which I will show again I am so flipping proud with of how this has come out and once you guys start receiving your copies I, I'm, I'm looking forward to the feedback you know there's a big difference between listening to this digitally and putting a needle on it you know, it's perfect for digital because it's clean and you can hear it. But what a record. This is the best thing I've done so far. I know I can do better, but... And it worked. I sold records. People came up, you know, and the word they said was, you know, it's like, you're so passionate, you know, and it's like I only droned with it on the Roland, you know, but it's like, oh, I was feeling it, you know what I'm saying? It's like... Oh man, what a night. I keep saying ah ah, but I wanted to share that um Oh, what a feeling, what a feeling. Something else right quick. Axel, Axel, um thank you very much for the unexpected VC LT. Um I received this unexpected uh, album from Axel Book. Bruno Ender Ender Lee. Hope Beyond Menace. Now if I'm not mistaken, I think possibly um, Axel, you know this fella? Or I might have even seen him at, you know, advertising this on Facebook. Um, excuse me, I'm excited. Well, the first thing is I really appreciate receiving a copy of this. Um, I only got to just cursorily put the needle on because that's what I like to do is just I get a new record, let me drop the needle. I can tell you right away that I'm pleased with the analog, the warm analog synth sounds that you're using that we, um, well, that I just love, you know what I'm saying? And um, I'll get into it. Thank you so much, Axel. And also, thumbs up to you, Bruno. Right quick, I just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let my thoughts flow because I'm just, um, feel good and I need to kind of wind down. All of the records that I that people have ordered up until yesterday 
Well, actually, I got all the U.S. orders out. These are internationals that go out tomorrow, okay? These are internationals that go out tomorrow. But I've run out of mailers. And I ordered some, and I... I thought I... I... I'm glad I'm the way I am. I take nothing for granted. I still do not assume that I'm going to be selling all these records, guys. I don't. And so I ran out again. I bought... I bought a hundred mailers are gone already but anyway I ordered some so the orders that I got in today um, I'll get those out as soon as I can matter of fact what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to um, the record store one the record store that's left here in Omaha tomorrow see if they have any mailers record mailers I do not see record mailers at any of the post offices so I did put on an order for them being manufactured and um, I'll give them a call and say I need a rush on that um, I just got home and there were two more orders. Thank you, folks. Thank you. You, uh, I'm going to be very, very upfront about this. You will not be disappointed. I've made a good record. I don't have to think about it. I don't have to guess. And the response that I got from my brothers and sisters, um, you know, I don't know what to expect. Um, and um, from uh, a lot of black people because a lot of black people don't see me. And I was extremely pleased, you know. Matter of fact, I, I said, wow, okay, this is on, this is on. Um, people really got it. And the word I heard twice from two different people was, that was so passionate. Interesting that that was the word used for ambient music, passionate. My fr A bunch of my friends came uh, members of the Faint came. Members of Icky Blossoms came. Indrima guys came. My brother was there. Some of the personal friends. Carol Rogers, who sang with Dori Kaimi. Man. She came. I'm going to try to get her to do something down there with me. What a night. What a night. What a night. Mm, mm, mm. Hang on a second. I'm going to just got to do this. Okay, so I just wanted to show um, the program. I got a couple of these, so some, some lucky folks who order records will get one of these. I didn't have them until tonight, so sorry guys that who already have sent records out, but this was the program tonight. The Carver Bank, the Astro Gates Rebuild Foundation, Bemis Center for Contemporary Arts, and Big Mama Sandwich Shop. That's the building, the sandwich shop. And it talks about, you know, the um, project statement, which is inspiring, you know. Just right quick, this guy at the Astro Gates, his, let me see, where, where is it? He says that his work begins with his right to re-envision place, not just as an art project, but as a way of living. And that's what's inspiring about this residency because the idea is not to just be an artist down there in this building, but that the entire art space is there to revitalize the entire community. That's very exciting to be asked to be a part of that and realizing that I actually can help make it happen. I can. Here's the um, artist in residence. There I am, Shannon Marie, rapper. She she performed, did one song. Um, Portia, Vivian Love. If any of you know the jazz musician Preston Love from Omaha, he played with Count Basie and many others. This is his daughter. She's one of the other artists in residence. She's a poet. She was really good. She blew me away. I, I have her book and it didn't do much, but to see her do her poetry live, wow. And then Bart Vargas, um, painter, sculptor, and uh, uh, educator. Teaches up at the uh, university, you know. <clears throat> so I got a few of these. So um, obviously one for my collection, but I'm gonna throw um, a couple of these in on upcoming uh, orders.
Some of you folks will appreciate this. Um, I guess it goes without saying that, oh yeah, starting Monday, um, I'm going to be keeping hours down at the uh, art space. I um, have decided to approach this, you know, really quite seriously and put in time down there five days a week, Monday through Friday. Um, so, uh, we'll see how um, my ability to get to stay up with people's videos, you know, we'll see how that goes because VC means so much to me and I, I really enjoy a lot of you folks, you know, some of your videos, some of you folks' videos I just don't, I don't want to miss. Then I, I like it when I have time to try to catch up with other folks and, and see new folks, but that will be impacted by um, this changing schedule that I'm anticip anticipating as a result of this. But uh, not complaining, believe me. Let me tell you, I am not complaining. Um, so one other thing, I uh, I'm not embarrassed, but should be embarrassed that I cannot find the artwork that I did for the. Uh, inserts for Son of Spears 2. So what I'll do is I'll make new. I'll make new art. Those of you that are interested in having an insert and don't mind, what you can do is, I'll, like I said, I'll put it on my personal blog site and you can print it out and you'll have an insert. I did make some. I can't find them on the computer. <laughs> funny. Funny. Mm. Mm. No, I'm not going to be doing any needle drops. I'm um, obviously just still, just taking everything in. I do want to say that I did look at um, the uh, many of the comments that people left to my story, to my story video. Thank you, folks. You know, I even I even got to talk a little bit about my story tonight. Because I told people before I played, you know, I explained to them how being, you know, the anomaly of the of the uh, neighborhood, being the uh, Uncle Tom, which I'm not, but because I used to get beat up for listening to the Beatles, you know, and I, I told them how I had turned my back on the community, you know, it's like, you know, I was treated like absolute garbage, you know, and so I had to go elsewhere to ascertain my value, but it feels like I'm being called, I'm, it feels like it's a call back and I'm I'm ready to take it up, you know, in spite of in spite of many feelings that I have. I want us to heal, and I'm I'm willing, very willing to do my part, and that will be a lot more than talk, and it already is, and that's always the problem with um, social progress and civic projects is that many people talk. And only a few do. But I will do, and I already have, you know. <sighs> I feel very thankful, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I feel very thankful, and um, you can interpret that however you want to. You know, some folks would feel like they have to give thanks to an entity. That isn't what I feel. I just feel thankful. I just feel thankful. 